In this class, we are going to learn how to get the blob or nothing but the files which are stored in the blob storage in Microsoft Azure with the help of REST API. If you see over here, I am in the Microsoft Azure storage account. So if you see over here, there is the account, my account name and then the container. My container is test02 and within the test02, I have uploaded a blob that is nothing but the image that is offer.png file. We are going to learn in this class how we can make use of get blob rest APIs for Microsoft Azure and download this PNG file to our computer. In order to achieve the use case, first we have to see what is the rest API available in order to get the blob or download the blob to our local computer. I am here in the official documentation page by Microsoft Azure that is for the blob rest APIs. Under the blob service rest API, we have to go to operations on blob and then the get blob. Now, if you see over here, we have to make use of this REST API and with the help of this get blob API, we will be able to download the blob or any file from our blob storage within any container in the Azure storage account. Now, here Microsoft has provided few of the samples like we can use those samples in order to download. Like we have to construct the URL something like this. In this case, we have to give the my account. So, in our case, the account name will be this one that is cloud shell 200522 and then followed by this is static. We don't have to change. Then the container in our case the container name will be test02 and then followed by the blob name in our case it will be offer.png suppose if you want to dynamically get the blob or download all the blobs then we can list the blobs present in our container then we can download one by one all the blobs which are available in the container to our local computer with this get blob operation now if you scroll down here microsoft has provided few of the request headers which are mandatory like if you see over here date and the ms version as well as the authorization we have to send in any case and those are the optional things i will provide the link for this api documentation in the description you can check out the link for more details if you are stuck somewhere while practicing this class and one more challenge is passing the authorization or authenticating our api request that is this one now we will see how to generate this authorization header for the rest api so in order to generate the authorization header for our REST API in order to use the git blob REST API, we have come to this documentation page by Microsoft Azure that is authorize request to Azure storage. Under that we are going to use this authorize with the shared key and we will generate our authentication signature in order to access the API and then download the blob to our computer. Now we are going to make use of this concept that is the shared key for blob queue and the file service. With the help of this shared key we will be able to authorize and make the request against the blob queue file service you can read further details over here now we'll straight away go to this authorization structure authorization structure it will look something like this our authorization header will have shared key space our account name our account name is nothing but this one that is cloud shell 200 followed by some number and then the signature you will ask what is this signature if you scroll down microsoft has provided how the signature will look like if you see signature is nothing but it is the concatenation of those things like the verb it is nothing but the http method like the get put push as we are accessing this get blob rest api here the http method is a get that is this one get if you are making use of any other apis from this you have to set appropriately in our case this will be get and depending on the rest api with whatever you are accessing we have to pass the details over here so in our case we have to pass the header in order to get the blob from the storage account we have to pass those headers that is authorization that is nothing but the signature apart from this while generating the signature we have to pass those headers that is ms version and the date so these things we have to pass we will see how to pass that shortly then comes the canonicalized resource it is nothing but this part that is my container slash and the blob name this one now if you scroll down it will look something like this when you pass all the details like this is the header that is date and the version if you pass it will look something like this account name container name and the blob path that is this one as i told it will look something like this after concatenating after concatenating all the things it will look something like this that is in a straight line or something like this it will look if you put in a different lines next we have to encode this concatenated string using the hmac sha256 algorithm that is a cryptography over the utf8 encoding standards and generate the signature string then this signature string when we encode this string with the help of HMAC library that is SHA256 algorithm it will look something like this with the UTF encoded string so we have to pass in the authorization that is shared key space the account name and then colon and the authorization signature it will look something like this if I show shared key and the space as it is lengthy it is coming in next line after shared key there is only one space over here then we have to pass our account name and then the signature string which we have encoded with the help of cryptography key now without wasting much time let's see how i have achieved the same 
I have made use of VS code in order to generate the function as you can see over here. We need to install this crypto JS in our computer with the help of npm command. I am using the node JS over here. So, you can refer this that is npm install crypto JS before proceeding ahead. Then I have created this function just to accept all the variables or the parameters which this signature accepts that is over here like the verb encoding so and so forth. I generate one date because we need to add this in the ms date over here in the canonicalized header. Suppose if we have any header then we will pass in the parameter apart from this we have to send this ms date that I am appending over here plus the version. So, this thing entire line is for the headers. MS date and the MS version these are mandatory as per this get blob rest API if you see over here these are required. So, apart from this we have to pass the canonicalized resource that is slash account name and then our URL resource path it will look something like this that is test 0 to container and then the blob name that is the container name and the blob. So, in my case the container name is test 0 to it is this one and then the blob name offer dot png that we have to pass something like this. These are the two things that is header and the canonicalized resource. Apart from this we have to pass the HTTP over as I am making use of get blob the HTTP method is get over here. Next parameter what I have used is the account name I am passing the account name that is the storage account name we have to pass that is cloud shell 200 and followed by some number. Rest of the things are not required and then the API version you have to pass so that is something like this I am using the 5.4.2015 version in your case if it differs then you can pass same. So, this API version we will be again using over here when we generate the HTTP header that is MS version date is dynamic we generate over here with the help of function that is new date to UTC string method. So, apart from this these are mandatory HTTP method account name version and the API resource in our case get download this is the container and the blob name. Now, if you see rest of the things I have kept as default that is the empty string I am passing then if you see over here I am passing one string that is nothing but the key. This key is nothing but the shared key what we have talked about over here. So, we are going to authenticate with the help of shared key that is the method one what we have talked about. Now, if you scroll down. So, when we sign that is with the help of this cryptography algorithm we have to sign it with the key. For that I am making use of this crypto JS library which we have installed in our computer that is HMAC and then the string that is the concatenation of all the things whatever we have over here that is in the UTF format. As you have seen over here we have to sign this and get the UTF-8 string for the signature. First argument is our string that is this one. So, next argument for this algorithm is the key. I am passing the shared key. So, this is the shared key what I am passing. Now, you might get a question like from where we can get this shared key in Azure. So, I am going to Azure over here go to your storage account. Now, if you scroll down and see under the network and security there is this access key. Click on this. Now, you can see couple of keys over here we have to copy this one key 1 or key 2 I have copied this key 2 if you want you can copy key 1 as well. Now, if you are finding difficulty getting the storage account name it is visible over here as well storage account name that we can pass over here. So, that is it once we generate this UTF 8 encoded string after signing with this algorithm that is SMAC SHA 256 we just stringify it and convert it to the base 64 format and that we append over here that is shared key space account name colon and the signature. I have provided this separator because we are generating this processing date here. So, this processing date I am sending back to the service consumer like we can call this function from other functions as well or from the main JavaScript function or from some application. This function what date it has used it is not visible over here when it signs and generates the signature. I am putting the separator over here and sending the date and then the shade key format. The shared key we have generated this in the format what Microsoft is expecting that is shared key space account name colon and the signature. This separator we can use in order to get the date that is substring before this underscore sep and get the date substring after this separator then get the string which we can pass as is to the Azure while authenticating. Now, once you are done creating this function next we will test I have copy pasted everything like I am going to download this offer.png file which is under this test 0 to container. Now, let me just run this just right click over here and run in the terminal click on enter. So, it has generated the authorization string that is after the separator we have to get. Now, copy this from here copy I am making use of postman in order to access the get blob API paste it over here that is authorization header I have created apart from that we are creating the date and the version. Now, as I was saying we need the date so that I am passing it over here with the help of separator. Now, I am copying this date what this function has used in order to sign and get the signature that I am pasting it over here click on send. 
now it has downloaded the image for us now this was the image what i had uploaded in the blob storage i have the sample over here let me just open this yeah, this is the same image what it has downloaded over here in the postman now this is how you can create your own javascript function in order to generate the authorization or the signature with the help of shared key in order to access your blob or the files which are saved in the blob storage or in your azure storage account